Hello everyone, this is the Guided Meditation and Tarot and Angel Card Reading for Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021. So we just came out of a full moon that we had on Monday afternoon, so it was as bright as it was going to be on Sunday night. And the energies are very heavy. There's a lot of emotional stuff going on. That's a full moon. So my name is Dr. Elena Michaels, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Please just hit the subscribe button below, and that way every Wednesday you will be notified when there's a new meditation. And they're free, and I hope that you enjoy them. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much, and I'd be so grateful if you would subscribe. All right, so September 22nd, 2021. That is the 22-day on a 2021 year with the nine month. Nine, the nine is the hermit. The hermit is the one who goes within, who spends time alone, who develops their inner faculties. And the 22 is a master number of mastering once the hermit comes out of their isolation time where they've been studying. And 2021, if you add that up, is two and two is four and one is five. And that is, if you remember the, uh, the Michelangelo picture where his arms are out this way and his feet are spread, that is the star. So that is activating the star energy in all of us. And we're gonna read some tarot cards and some angel cards, and then who knows what the guided meditation will be. I never know. We'll find out what the cards tell us and where the cards tell us to go, okay? So I'm going to take a sip of tea here. And um, I'm going to grab my trusty tarot deck. <clears throat> now, some things start happening once I start doing this. I start clearing my throat a lot and <clears throat> I might be coughing or yawning or my eyes start to water. So that's just something that happens when I start to go into a little bit of a different state. And uh, that may be happening to you too. It's just a indication that the brain waves are slowing down. And so now I'm gonna shuffle the cards on the camera so you can see whatever card comes up when it comes up. And we're gonna ask that we be divinely protected by healing white light that no negativity or harm can come to us while we were in this state and while we are doing these readings and while we are in the guided meditations. And even when you listen to them again, you will not have to worry about that because you'll be divinely protected. Cutting the cards one more time and taking the top card. And it is this one. Oh my gosh, you know, we have had that like three weeks. We had it last week. I think we had it the week before that. My gosh, this is really intense. I'm gonna tell you about this card. And every week it kind of has a little bit of a different meaning. But I'm going to set it down here. By the way, I set the cards down here too after they come up so that I can see them and they can guide me while I'm doing the guided meditation for you. But I've got the deck right here. I'm gonna shuffle again and see if we can get more substantiation on the fact that this thing just keeps showing up. Pretty wild. It's a big deck, right? Some of these cards never show up and some show up repeatedly. It's crazy. All right, let's see what this one is. I have a cat. Some of you know that, you may hear her. She's quite verbal. And uh, I had a cat here right here in my mouth. All right, let's see what's happening here. Okay, I'm gonna go with this as substantiation to this, okay? Now, let me put this on the side right here and uh, grab my glasses so I can look at the car even more clearly and see what guidance I'm getting about it, but I'm already starting to get guidance about it. So this is gonna be really interesting just after the full moon and everything. All right, first of all, we're gonna look at this card right here. This is the Struck Tower. See that? This is a major arcana card and it's basically all hell's breaking loose here. Okay, so 
This is the falling away and the ending of a chapter. This is the end of the old. And see this tower? It's kind of uh, up at the top of these ice caps. It's, it's kind of an isolated situation. And we have the lightning bolt coming down in the shape of the W, which is wisdom, knocking the capstone off, which is a false crown, which is surface appearances. And the people are falling out and there's smoke everywhere and they're falling down. They are surrounded by white light though. See those little, these things are little yodes. That's the, uh, um, yod is the Hebrew letter for God. All right, so they're surrounded by benevolent, helpful, loving energy, but it looks like the shit's hitting the fan. See that? Okay. And when I turn it around, you'll see that this one right here is a female with a crown. So her illusion, her false veneer is falling by the wayside. And then we got the guy, he's going head first, facing us. And he's, uh, he's got the, um, the light yode right, right there, right, right there, almost like he's trying to grab it and hold on to it. It looks really bad. <laughs> and it's a, it's a 21 card, which is 21 of the major arcana is right before something wonderful is about to happen. It looks really bad, but it's actually not really bad. It's just the falling away of other things. It's the shattering of other things. It's a shattering of false pretense. That's the crown was coming off the top. See the crown coming off the top? The crown is like, when someone wears a crown, it's like, this isn't who I really am. This is who I appear to be, a king or a queen or royalty. So that's all falling away, all right? Who you appear to be is falling away. And what's happening is you're surrounded by light and it's gonna be okay. And why do I know it's gonna be okay? Because guess what came up next? This. Look at this. This is the Ace of Wands. See, Ace of Wands. Now, wands are about the breath and air and creativity. This is gifts coming out of nowhere. See, it's a very fertile valley, so there's a lot of things that are coming. And the wand is sprouted with greenery. And look at that hand surrounded by light. So this is really wonderful things, seemingly coming out of nowhere. This is a great card to come after this one because this one looks pretty scary and we've had it a couple times in a row, which is weird. Well, I mean, not really weird. It's just kind of what the energy is. It's kind of what's happening. But this one is really beautiful. And in the distance here, you see in the distance, there is a castle. See, in the distance, right there, there's a castle. Okay, so this is gifts seemingly coming out of nowhere, divinely ordained, and wonderful things growing and sprouting. This is after this incident, okay? So it looks bad, but it's really not. It's just the surface appearance of it looking bad. It's just the surface appearance. See the crown? The flames, it's like the fires, you know, the expression, when, well, this is an expression often used in spiritual communities. When people say, I'm in the fires, or he's in the fires, or she's in the fires. It means that the fire and the intensity is burning up the unnecessary stuff that you're carrying around with you. And sometimes there's a physical component to that, where you're more tired, where you're detoxing, things like that. So these people are in the fires and things are changing. It's never gonna be the same again, but amazing things are coming. Stay in your breath, watch your breath, let your breath be your anchor. Your breath is your anchor, okay? When you start freaking out or becoming anxious or worried about the future, just breathe, just get into your breath. It's a gift. Just lock into your breath and all is well, okay? Excuse me.
Okay, let's go to, I think I'm gonna grab the uh, this one next. Okay, this is um, the Archangel Oracle cards, okay? Let's see which Archangel comes up for us. The Archangels, you can talk to the Archangels. You can ask them for help. They do answer and they do respond in actions and intuitive guidance. You may even hear voices or you may see things or you may just feel their wonderful, loving energy helping you during any transition that you might be having, during any falling away of the false appearances and the changing of what's going on right here. Just ask the angels for their help, okay? Because they're there to help us, but they, they don't just step up and go, hey, want some help? No, you have to ask, okay? Ask and you should receive. I mean, how many times have you heard that? Well, there must be some truth to it, right? Ask and you shall receive. Okay, so let's get a little more substantiation here for what just happened. I'm gonna choose the card on top here. I'm not gonna choose it, it's gonna be shown. And let's see what it is. Wow, oh gosh, that's amazing. Claire Cognizance, okay. Claire Cognizance, look at this card. There's a beautiful being here, radiating light on top of a mountaintop with rainbows. All is well, everybody, it's gonna be okay. That's also the images on the back of the card, see? See that right there? So we've got that, and then here it actually is. She's above a peak, or he's above a peak, but it's an angelic presence surrounded by light and rainbows. Okay, this is Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Remember I told you when you ask the angels for help, often it just comes as thoughts in your own mind or guidance in your own mind, okay? Let's talk about what Claire Cognizance is and about Archangel Uriel, all right? So we're gonna go in here to Claire Cognizance and Claire Cognizance, pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers, additional messages. You've prayed for answers and they've come to you in the form of repetitive thoughts telling you to take steps and make healthy changes. Don't discount your thoughts or think they're just dreams or common knowledge. Your thoughts are tuned to high frequencies right now and are trustworthy inspirations. All great inventions, new businesses, and teachings stem from this same universal source of wisdom. How many times have you heard about great inventors getting stuck with something, Thomas Edison, for example, and then just taking a nap and waking up or having a dream or getting guidance when they wake up? That very magical area and that space when you're half asleep and half awake and you're just coming back into full consciousness, often there are intuitive insights in, in the thought forms that come to you. That happens to me a lot. I get it when I wake up first thing in the morning. Okay, and right before I go to sleep. All great inventions, new businesses and teachings stem from the same universal source of wisdom. You're tapped into that divine wisdom right now and it's important to notice and record your thoughts. Then act upon these answers to your prayers. Archangel Uriel, his name means the light of God. He's known for his ability to enlighten our mind. See, kind of an androgynous guy here, see that? See that? Looks more female on the back of the card. Yeah, so um, he's known for his ability to enlighten your mind with divine inspiration. Anytime you need answers or insights, call upon Uriel. He answers anyone who calls upon him. 
you'll know that he's answered when you have repetitive thoughts or ideas that are positive, loving, and helpful. If you need facts in a hurry, such as during a test or an important meeting, Uriel will supply you with the information. After you ask him for help, the answer will pop into your mind. Trust the information he supplies. I have to sneeze. I told you, I start releasing, whether I'm sneezing or coughing or clearing my throat. Yawning is another thing that happens. My eyes start to water. It's, it's all as I'm getting ready to start doing the guided meditation. Uriel, the light of God. So ask Uriel for help when you need answers to something. Yes. Oh, excuse me. I told you all this stuff starts happening. It's probably happening to you too when you're watching this right now. All right, uh, all right, we're gonna go into another angel deck. We're gonna go into guile, daily guidance from the angels and see what's in here. We want a little more data here. So far, I think you're looking really good. Let's see what comes up in here, okay? So I'm gonna shuffle these cards. See, they have a beautiful uh, gold edge on them. I like those beautiful. Okay, so here we go. A little more clarification, substantiation, validation, and clarification. Let's see what comes up here. And, you know, before I do the meditation for you all, I go into the silence and I ask that the angels guide me so that the meditation is appropriate for everyone who's watching whenever they watch or listen. Okay, so think about how this applies to you, everything that I'm saying. One more cut, here we go. Bring my full moon ring, Isn't that cool? All right. All right, here we go. This is opportunity to forgive, all right? Let's read about this. It's a beautiful angel in nature with a couple of koala bears. Opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Ta-da! That's the releasing of the negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher plane of peace and compassion. Let's read about this from the guidebook. Opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. The angels sent you this card because they see that you've grown weary of recurring negative patterns in your life. To break this cycle, it's important for you to release old toxic thoughts about the current situation and relationship. You can do this by breathing deeply. Remember I talked to you about the breath. The wands are the breath. You can do this by breathing deeply and on each exhalation, giving your fears, worries, excuse me. I mean, I told you beforehand this is gonna happen. Uh, your fears, worries, anger, and other painful emotions to the angels. Let go, give it to them. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you are condoning the other person's behavior. It just means that you're unwilling to carry the toxic feelings and thoughts about him or her. Forgiveness is about you refusing to carry toxic thoughts or feelings about someone else. 
Release, be free, and experience positive patterns through forgiveness. Here are some additional meanings. Avoid blending yourself or others. As you release anger, a creative resolution to this situation will appear. There are hidden blessings in this relationship and situation. Focus upon desires instead of fears or judgments. You know, whenever you're moving into, you know, my mother is amazing. She's 93 years old. She lives in assisted living and she's very positive. And the other day I was talking to her about something that I'm kind of dealing with personally and wondering about the future and this and that. And she said, Elena, don't even allow the negative thoughts to enter in. Just see it all being positive and working out great. And see, see it where everyone is happy and everybody is taken care of in the situation. And those are very wise words, very wise words. It's like, don't worry, you know, be happy. Like the song, don't worry, be happy. When we implant in our mind the fears and the worries, it's such a drain. I have a quote above my bathroom mirror. It says, worry is a misuse, a misuse of imagination. Worry, I think the, the person who said it was Dan somebody. Worry is a misuse of the imagination. So let's use our imagination to see things wonderful happening. As the old falls away, the chapter is ending wonderful things will be coming seemingly out of nowhere surrounded by light good things lots of uh, sprouting of creative ideas remember to listen to the guidance that you hear that's what this is clear cognizance is what you hear hearing the guidance being aware to hear the guidance and if you want to hear answers to your questions ask for archangel uriel U-R-I-E-L, to give you the answers, which may come in the form of repetitive thoughts, which you have to listen to. And then, this is an opportunity to forgive yourself for carrying negative or toxic emotions about any person, any relationship, any situation. Maybe the situation that you are now watching fall away. Maybe the chapter that you are now watching come to an end. So use your mind to see positive outcome as my very wise mother, who is 93, says. Use your mind to see positive outcome. Don't even waste the energy on the fears and the worries. It does nothing except contract your energy. Okay, so if you could imagine tapestry, you know what those old Renaissance tapestries look like. The threads are really, really tight together. If you held it up to the light, you couldn't see through it. You know, they're usually Renaissance images, people in gardens, you know what they look like. The light can't come in, a dense, tight tapestry. And when we're worried, the fiber of our being gets dense and tight, okay? So no light can come in. The gifts can't come. These things can't come. Open up the fibers. Make it be like gauze. You know what gauze looks like? G-A-U-Z-E. It's that filmy stuff. When you hold it up to the light, you can see right through it. Light can come in. So allow your being to be loose in that way so that the light can come in. And when we're worried about the future or we start having all those negative thoughts and fears, we get contracted and the fibers of our being get really, really tight and no light can come in okay i think i might read one more card i think i might do one more card this one i'm going to pull from the indigo deck i kind of dig the indigo deck i think i've told you before i've had it for years i didn't really use it very much but lately i've kind of been digging the indigo all right all right, so we're gonna see what's going on here. And this is a, see this, this one has a silvery, see that? Silvery edges, very pretty. Okay, we're all indigos, by the way. If you're watching this, you're an indigo, okay? 
Indigos are intuitive, they're sensitive, they want to make a change on the planet. They're aligned with goodness and they're, they're very, very intuitive. They are light workers and they are empaths. And if you're gravitating to this channel, you're undoubtedly one of those. So it's important to protect yourself and shield yourself, okay? Because changes are coming, baby. Fast and furious, but it's all good. Divine protection is there. Guidance will be provided, so just trust yourself. All right, one more cut. There we go. From this one. Okay, this is trust. Oh my God, didn't I just say that? You can't write this stuff, I'm telling you. <laughs> trust. Trust, 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 trust. I'm gonna read this to you. Took the words, this card just is exactly what I just said. All right, the world is magic. Life is magic, everybody. We have to remember that. Part of the test of being here is to remember to stay grateful and to remember and be aware and in awe of the magic of being here and the magic of life. Trust. This card asks you to trust that there's a purpose to life. Keep faith that the chaos you see around you has an underlying meaning and divine design. When times are hard, indigos can feel that the world has been orchestrated to work against them and that nothing's fair. The truth is that your viewpoint has not yet expanded enough to put your problems into perspective. I was just talking about expanding the fibers larger so that the light can come in. The truth is that your viewpoint has not yet expanded enough to put your problems into perspective. As you age, you will see <clears throat> that what seems overwhelming and unbearable now is only a minor hitch Trust that there's so much more out there, including magical experiences. I just said, remember the magic. I'm telling you, these cards are amazing. It's just amazing. They are living entities, it feels like to me, and they are communicating constantly. It's wild. I mean, do, you, do you feel that? Don't you feel that? Trust that there's so much more out there, including magical experiences. You will see how balanced the world has the potential to be. Take this card as a reminder to persevere, stay strong, and believe in yourself. Because the world needs you more than you know. Indigos are here for a purpose, and the world needs you more than you know. That's pretty powerful, pretty powerful. Keep asking for the guidance, keep asking for the direction, and you will get it. It'll probably come as intuitive thoughts or repetitive thoughts, but it will come. And if you have specific questions, ask Uriel. I mean, he just said, ask me. So we're going to go into our guided meditation now. I'm just going to check and see what time it is so that I can write that in the bottom. In the bottom of each uh, meditation, I do a description, and then I will tell you what time the guided meditation actually starts. So... If you want to listen to it repeatedly, you don't have to listen to the first part, the readings. However, you will see that when you do listen to the readings again, they will have a different meaning and something else will pop up for you. Also, listening to the readings starts to take you into the deeper, deeper, deeper levels of mind. It starts to start the process of taking you deeper. So it's a very important step, even though it looks like maybe it's throw away, it's actually not. It starts the steps of taking you deeper and deeper. Okay? So this meditation is going to start in just a few moments.
and we're beginning now. Make yourself comfortable and know that any sounds that you hear that are everyday normal sounds do not distract you. Instead, they take you even deeper, even deeper into a part of your mind that is a magical, creative vortex, part of a larger creative vortex. Take the time to get your body situated. Shift around if you need to. Ideally, your back is straight and you're lying down. Ideally, your knees are up and your feet are flat on the surface upon which you're lying. You don't have to sit up unless you want to. You might start to feel certain body sensations, like a tendency to swallow. You may find your eyes beginning to water. You may feel yourself yawning. Your eyes may be tearing. Your throat may be clearing. You may feel little involuntary muscle movements underneath your eyelids. You may need to cough. Your lips may be feeling dry. These are indicators that your brain is slowing down and that you are moving into a slower brainwave frequency, which makes you very receptive to positive information that can take root in your subconscious mind. Nothing that I say can take root in your mind unless it is aligned with your current belief system. So anything I say that is aligned with your current belief system that is designed to help you be happier, healthier, more creative, more comfortable, and more peaceful will go into your mind and start to manifest effective immediately and in the very near future. Should I say something that does not agree with your perspective or belief system, you will not even hear it. If you feel like you are beginning to drift and float and possibly begin to take a little rest or nap or sleep, that is totally fine for you will be in a state called yoga nidra, which is a very fertile state of being or perhaps a part of your brain is very interested in what I have to say, in which case you will catch every word of what I have to say. But a part of you may not be interested in even caring because you are starting to feel more and more relaxed now, more and more comfortable now. With each sound of my voice and each breath that you take, your mind starts to relax more and more. And even if you do have thoughts pop into your mind, you recognize that they are simply thoughts and you allow them to float on by. Go back to your breath and let your breath be your anchor. That is what keeps you present. Your breath keeps you present. It is normal to have thoughts and 
you will just let them float by. There they go. I'm going to count from five down to zero, and each count allows you to go even deeper and relax even more as we move to access that magical creative part of your inner being which is part of the being of the greater all known by many names the master creative force in the universe You have a part of this creative force in you as well. As I count the numbers down, you will be going deeper and deeper into that beautiful, creative, and comfortable space. And this will happen naturally, gently, and comfortably. Beginning on the count of five, feeling the relaxation coming down over the top of your head, down over your scalp and your forehead, down over the front of your face, down around your jaw, and down around the back of your head. And drifting even deeper and feeling even more comfortable now. On the count of four, as the back of your neck relaxes and your shoulders begin to let go. Your shoulders let go more and more as the relaxation sensation moves down from the shoulders and the upper arms through the elbows, down the forearms, down through the wrists, the hands, and the fingers. See if you can become aware of that tingling, relaxing sensation coming out the tips of your fingers. Almost as if you can see the light rays coming out the tips of your fingers. You can feel this as a tingling sensation. Moving down on the count of three, down through the torso, down through the collarbones, down into the chest, down through the diaphragm, and into the digestive system. That's it. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. It feels so good to let go of everything, knowing there is nowhere for you to be, nothing for you to do. This is just your time to release and to dump the junk of what is no longer necessary in your mind and in your life. Thoughts that are no longer necessary for you to think or dwell upon. Let it all go. Let it go. That's it. Coming down on the count of two now, down through your legs, down through your knees, down through your calves. The entire body relaxing even more with each sound of my voice. Coming down now through the feet and the toes, 
The relaxation is continuing. That's it. It feels so good. In a moment, I'm going to count from one down to zero. And when I do, allow your mind and your awareness to travel on the tones to take you even deeper and deeper. Drifting now from the count of one down to zero. going even deeper and deeper still. Feeling the resonance of the sounds beginning now and throughout the rest of the guided imagery and meditation to have yourselves being recalibrated, reorganizing in an intelligent way. Going all the way down now, even deeper. That's it. Going deeper and deeper and deeper. Letting go more and more and more. Drifting and floating. Drifting and floating. Going deeper and deeper and deeper. Imagine in your mind that a chalkboard has appeared. And there is a nice fat piece of chalk and an eraser. Put the chalk in your dominant hand and the eraser in your non-dominant hand. Write 100 on the chalkboard. One, zero, zero. Look at it. Take the non-dominant hand with the eraser and wipe it off. And write 99. See it. And wipe it off. 98. See it. And wipe it off. 97, see it and wipe it off, 96, see it and wipe it off, 95, see it and wipe it off. Now with your dominant hand, write the word deeper. D E E P E R. And above it, write the word go. G O. And go deeper 
as you lift up your non-dominant hand with the eraser and you erase the words go deeper take a few moments now and continue writing the numbers with the chalk in the descending order and you see that it's happening even faster as you move down through the rest of the 90s writing erasing writing erasing writing erasing and it happens faster as you go down through the 80s and the 70s and the 60s and the 50s and the 40s and the 30s and the 20s now 10 Eight and erase eight. Write seven and erase seven. Write six and erase six. Write five and erase five. Write four and erase four. Write three and erase three. Write two and erase the two. Write one and erase the one. Write zero and above it write go deeper. go and erase deeper and erase the zero and the chalkboard disappears and you are going deeper and deeper and deeper that's it more go and trusting going deeper and deeper
This is a time of endings and new beginnings. This may be happening on your life in a small level or a small scale or a grand, large scale. Trust and know that what is falling away is just the surface appearances. For many gifts will be coming your way. Many creative insights, many creative endeavors. Your creativity may feel enhanced as you start to tune in more and more and receive more and more messages and guidance. You are surrounded by light and benevolent loving energies. You are being guided and shown your next steps. Be patient. If the way is not yet clear, it will soon become so. Ask Archangel Uriel if you need specific answers to questions. Then relax, take a breath, and trust the impulses, images, and repetitive thoughts that come to you. Act on them and you will see swift progress for the angels are with you and when they give you hints and you hear them and act upon them, they are more present and available to help you in your life. Forgive yourself and release toxic emotions and negativity about any situation, any relationships, any people in your life. Release the negativity and forgive yourself for carrying it around with you for so long. Forgive yourself for holding on to it and speaking of it. It will pass. See the divinity and the divine consciousness in all When you look into the eyes of another, see their unlimited potential for happiness, health, and success. Trust and know that you are indeed being guided Trust and know that good things are coming your way. Remember to see the magic in life and the way things unfold. The more you see the magic, the more magic you see.
not get caught in the surface appearances of things. Look beneath the surface. See the divine hand. Look for the blessings. Look for the magic. See it on a daily basis. Count the gifts in your life. When you focus on the gifts, you receive more of them. Listen for the messages. They are always being given to you. Thank you for joining me until we meet again I wish you many blessings much happiness